So a couple of mornings ago, I decided I was gonna wake up early and go for a walk, get some nice fresh air, you know, just kind of do it for that morning. Uh, little did I know that I was gonna make a habit of it for the next 30 days. As you can see behind me, there is the month of August. Now my plan is to go for a walk every single day this month. And you know, there's health benefits to this, you know, better sleep quality, reducing stress and anxiety. It's good for your joints, it's good for your muscles, it's good for your blood pressure. All great reasons as to why you should go for a walk every day. Now, are any of those my real reasons why I'm doing this? I would be lying if I said yes. So what are my main reasons why I'm doing this? One, I'm really bad. I'm re okay, well, I'm really good at working out, but my working out is just lifting weights, so I would love to add cardio into my workout routine. And two is, I, I you know, I can wake up at nine o'clock, I can wake up at like eight. Now, do I get out of bed and do stuff that I need to? No. So I'm hoping that um, making myself like wanting to do this in the morning, I wake up and then, oh, I gotta go for my walk and then I can start my day. So here are the rules for the challenge. One, go for about a mile walk every day. And two, have that walk happen around 8 a.m. All right, let's have these 30 days start and I'm excited. No, I'm not. The first few days of the challenge was honestly really nice. It was just nice knowing that I was creating a new habit. I have a strong feeling I'm gonna see that cat most of these mornings. I've officially been doing this for four days now, which honestly feels pretty good to say. I'm um, pretty proud of myself. It was not fun to wake up this morning. I wanted to keep sleeping, but I was like, you know what? If I don't do it today, I'm gonna feel guilty about not doing it and be upset with myself. So I got out of bed. Most of the time when people do this, they like show a reference point so then they can see any physical benefits or changes to compare to after 30 days. So I think, Day four is still an okay time to get a reference point. So already four days in, I can I can tell, and I notice the the mental health benefits. Physically, uh, my legs are just more sore. Obviously, I'm walking more than I'm used to, and so eventually my body will get used to it, and then I'll walk for longer. Here's my base physique. Um, again, we're four days in. Um, I do work out regularly on the side. And then also at the start of all of this, I'm about 134 pounds. Today I found the halfway mark to ensure that all my walks are gonna be about a mile. And then on the way back, I ran for a little bit. Day six was quite overcast, which was a nice change from all the sunny mornings that I've been having. Uh, it was also really, it was really windy. Oh wait, it it's was- windy. It's very windy this morning. Wow, truly thank you for that intel stuff. Anyway, we have been officially doing this for seven days now. It feels good to say that. Um, here's me going on a different route today. Do you wanna know why I did this? Is because I ran into an old man that I would be falling behind and I didn't wanna follow him and be weirdly recording myself while walking. And here's a clip of me running and this was the only time I ran during this entire walk and that was because I wanted to pick up my camera faster. As I hate to say this, but I did not go for a walk this morning. Uh, it was raining. Did I want to get sick? No, so I did not go for a walk in this weather. I did go for a walk that evening, and to make up for it, I ran a quarter of it, so I think we're even. Don't worry guys, I'm back in my routine of going on a walk before 8 a.m. Had a really nice walk this morning. It was a kind of a cold morning. It was 60 degrees. Every day before this, it was like 69 or 72. Um, now that I've been doing this for at least a week, I want to try to run for about a quarter of a mile so that I can like build up to running a mile. And the worst thing happened to me at the end of my walk. I just had to walk through a sprinkler. Can you tell that I just walked through a sprinkler? So about nine days ago when I decided I was going to be doing this, I was like, well, if I'm going to be doing this for 30 days for the foreseeable future, I should probably get like some more specific workout clothes and not just, well, I mean, or like just get more, you know? Uh, so in other words, I have a haul to share with you. This is the stuff that I ordered that came in today. Now all of this stuff is from one company and that is Fabletics. Is this sponsored? No, I bought this all with my own money. I wanted to get a hat specific for walking and running and exercise. And this one, 
Uh, some hats make my head look stupid, but this one, I think it looks nice. So here are the three shirts I got. Technically two shirts and a tank top. And then I got two pairs of shorts. Um, I got a pair of five inch seam and a seven inch seam. Here's one fit. Here's another combo. Uh, probably won't actually wear this, but these are the seven inch seam shorts. Honestly, I didn't think I would like the five inch ones that much. But like these ones are like, they seem longer than seven inches. Like most of the time when I wear seven inch shorts, they fit like five inch shorts. I don't know. But anyway, they're, it's comfortable. They're comfortable. And then my favorite outfit that I can make from all of this is, is this one. Uh, this outfit is very Connor Franta inspired. He likes to wear a little short short and a little tank top with a little hat. Oh, and then another cool thing about these shorts. So let's say, oh my gosh, it is unbearable out here tonight. What am I gonna do? Oh, well now that I have my shirt off, where am I gonna, am I just gonna hold it? You don't have to do that. Boom. There's like a towel holder. I don't know why it actually is there, but this is a use for it. Keeps my hands free. All right. But I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will see you tomorrow morning. Hi guys, I've been officially doing this for 10 days now, which means we're a third of the way done. So that's, that's kind of crazy. Like it doesn't feel like it's been uh, 10 days. I mean, it, it's, felt, it's felt like 10 days. Like it's been like a while since I started this, but it's also like, what? Ultimately, I mean, I still feel the same. I'm like, I'm still getting used to all of this. It's t it takes your body a while to get used to a new habit. But anyway, the main thing I keep forgetting to do is I forget to stretch beforehand. I've been making sure to eat something beforehand. Stretching, haven't done that. My shins hurt. I don't know if what I'm technically getting is shin splints, but it doesn't feel good, whatever I'm experiencing. So, I gotta make sure I include stretching into the whole routine. Yay! Good morning. Guess remember to stretch today. Me. Guess whose legs don't hurt? Me. Today I decided to go for a two mile walk and it was really nice because not a lot of people were out, so great for me. Also, if you ever wondered what people see when they walk past me, uh, that's all the interaction I do. What a convenient sign. I guess I'll turn back now. Waking up to do this every morning has honestly gotten so much easier. And in a way, I do, I would say I do look forward to doing this. starting and my thought process is if I run majority of this the walk happens faster this isn't too bad I'm sure my uh, calves hurt and my abdomen hurts but I'm fine I have ran a majority of this right now Guess who's officially been doing this for two weeks? Me! Anyway, to reward myself, I got myself a pair of new running shoes. Uh, the main actual reason I did this was because my new balances that I've been wearing have actually felt too small, and I thought I, might, I should get some actual running shoes. You can barely see my new shoes in that clip. Yeah, I got some, I got some new shoes. Do I feel faster than them? I don't know. I'll tell you in a second. I don't think I feel faster. I just feel tired. I take that as you will. Today I went for a two mile walk trying to explore a different path. Uh, the only thing I found on this path was that it was very stinky. I don't know if it's because it was trash day or what and everyone had the trash bins out, but I will not be taking this route again. So I picked this piano music because I thought it'd be like, oh, I'm having these nice peaceful walks, but this is kind of just like, it feels like sad and like weirdly sentimental and I don't know why I'm just going for a morning walk to better myself. So uh, let's change the music. This is in fact 100% better.
really didn't feel like getting out of bed this morning. But now that I'm out here, again, the cheesy, oh, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I'm going my walk. It does feel nice out here, so. So I just walked about, no, I ran about a little over a quarter of a mile. It was uphill and it's never easy. I keep doing that. It's not easy. Um, it hurts your calves a lot. I'm not cramping anywhere else but my calves. But I did a nice slow pace. And honestly, I think I could probably run a mile. Um, run a mile. Uh, not uphill. I don't think anyone can do that with fun. So at this point in the video, things take a little bit of a turn. This weekend, I went on a trip with my fiance down to Branson, Missouri. And so um, the day we left, I went for a walk that morning, pretty normal. Second day, we did a bunch of walking. We were at Silver City. And then after that, we went on a little hike. So in total, on day 22, I walked seven miles. And then day 23, day 23 doesn't count. And you wanna know why? I didn't go for a walk, not at all. We were driving the whole day and not a single walk happened and I'm truly sorry, but hey, there was 31 days in August and I'm doing this challenge for 30. So I, I'm allowed to have a cheat day and I made that rule up just now. A stand, we're just gonna keep rolling with it. And here is actually day 23. I just have successfully run half a mile. I did that. Oh. It's hot this morning. Hot and humid. Hot and heavy with me running. So, I'm definitely sore from not even running a mile yesterday. So I'm keeping it easy. We're doing about a one and a half mile walk today. It's again hot and humid. And I wish I brought water with me, but it's fine. It is again a hot and humid morning, and I really wish I was not up right now. So, it's been a, I'm almost like halfway done with this walk, but I haven't really been rained on, it's so sprinkly, but it's just so annoying. That's all it is. <laughs> Well, I can't believe it. I've been doing this for 29 days now and I just completed my 29th walk. Um, so that means tomorrow is the last day of doing this, which is really surreal to think that it's already been nearly a month. Um, I'm really proud of my self-discipline that I've been able to do. So, you know, let's finish out strong and I've got something a little different planned for tomorrow. So you have to stay tuned. Good morning guys, it is the last day that I'm doing this and I kind of need to hurry up and get out there. And today I'm actually going to be going for a mile run. This is what I've been building up for. At the beginning of all this, I just wanted to go for a walk every day, but that's shortly changed into wanting to be able to accomplish a one mile run. And beforehand, when I would do little sprints, I was doing sprints, I was running as fast as I could and I would get tired very easily. And I've quickly learned that I need to pace myself. So if I keep myself at a good pace, I think I'll be able to do this and hopefully I'm able to surprise myself. After 29 days of waking up early, getting out of bed, going for a walk, getting some fresh air, and making myself a little bit better every day, will it all have been worth it? Can I do this mile run? I'm the home stretch. This is the farthest I've ever ran in a long time without stopping. I'm really proud. I did it. I was able to run a mile. And I honestly, I don't know if I've actually ever been able to run a mile without stopping. So honestly, pretty cool victory to me. It could be a small victory to you, but it's a big one to me. So um, let's get into some of the things that I've been able to notice in the last 30 days. So um, some comparison of what I looked like. Here is what I looked like on day four. And here's what I looked like after 30 days of doing this. Now, in my opinion, I don't notice that big of a difference. And then another thing to keep in mind, um, on the first day, I was about 134 pounds. And then 30 days later, I was about 135. So I maintained my weight. And that, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. So 
that was all good for me. Um, I definitely noticed a lot more muscle growth on my legs. Um, now the funny thing was I was trying to wanting to do this. I wanted to do cardio alongside my normal workouts and normally I work out in the morning and so I would do my morning walk and then decided I, I'm too tired to work out so then um, I barely did my normal workout so gotta find a different balance there in the future. I, it's funny because like I had muscle up top but now I, I lost some muscle up top but now I have more muscle on my legs so you know, muscle growth is muscle growth. Some of like two of the biggest things out of doing this were I didn't realize how much better my sleep quality got. I could fall asleep pretty fast and I woke up the next morning ready to start the day. And also being able to have that time in the morning to have a clear mind and to think about what I needed to do that day, it did help reduce my stress and anxiety. Now the funny thing is um, when I'm recording this, um, it is September 12th, so I've been done with this for 12 days. Um, have I continued to go for a walk every day? No, I have not. Um, and that, I just, I wanted a bit of a break from it, but I do want to get back into the little routine of waking up at a decent time and go for a walk. Maybe not every single day, but for a majority of the days in the week, I think I really should get back into it. I had a lot of fun working on this video and hopefully you've enjoyed watching it, but this was just another test to show that I do have good self-discipline and if I want to achieve something, that I can. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and you should go for a walk every single day for 30 days in the morning. All right, I'll see you guys with the next one. Bye.